Final bell rings during fifth period. And we forgot Tsunahara again. Hey, Okazaki's holding the stuffed toy again. He seems to like it quite a bit. Maybe it really is just a pillow. Doesn't it look like it's shaking? I can hear people whispering about me, but I choose to ignore them. Udon still hasn't woken up. Well, if he didn't wake up... Well, if he did wake up, that'd be... That'd, be, uh, that'd put me in a pretty bad spot. That reminds me, have you <laughs> heard about the guy's restroom? You mean the one that says my very own room? Nah, this one's even better. It says my love nest now. Aw, oh, man. I don't want to go anywhere near that. Ah. Forgot about him again. Well, with how things turned out, I guess I should, shouldn't go over there carelessly. <laughs> Poor Sunahara. <laughs> Not only is he getting trapped in the, the restroom, but he's also going hungry. He's starving in there because he doesn't eat lunch. At the lunchtime, lunch has somehow fallen to his, this daily routine. Once again, I locked Sunahara in his restroom stall before he came here. How does he not get used to, how how does he just not realize that this is happening to him? Incidentally, I wrote rugby to the club's application interviews held here today. <laughs> the lunchbox has returned to just three layers. <laughs> oh my god, that's a great thing to put on the restroom right there. You didn't make lunch today, Fujigashi? Uh well, yes. Come on, that's not something someone should ask about now, is it? Oh why? Before man, be more thoughtful, consider how Ryu feels. Yeah, I that's okay, um, it was my fault for making something weird. Nah, I didn't mean it that way. Sure, yesterday the lunch was kind of intense, but I'm sure they get better with practice. But it'd be bad if you got sick because of it. Oh yeah, that reminds me, how's Botan? He finally woke up in the evening. He's still not feeling well and didn't have any energy this morning. I hope this doesn't leave him with any complications. Ah. Uh, on here in Q's update. Ryu had groups. I think you are the one who's being inconsiderate. Huh? Why? She didn't even notice. Well, let's say figuring out Fujiyashi's cooking homework for later. Um, let's have lunch now. Feels as though we're picking on Fujibayashi if we keep joking about our lunchbox. So change the topic. That's right, I'm getting hungry too. He lays out the layers of her lunchbox. The main dish today is a lightly flavored Kyoto style meat and potato stew. It's chilled, but it's still delicious. Q says happily. Her cooking repertoire is really quite extensive. By the way, I said Kyoto style, but I didn't mean it's Q style. Ha 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 ha. The only one who thinks it's funny. <laughs> Alright, let's dig in. Yeah, let's let's eat. The three of us reach for the food we want with her or chopsticks. We're in the courtyard during lunch break. The three of us are sitting on a plastic sheet, packing out the lunchbox. I wonder what other people think when they see us. I wonder if anyone here would realize that Fujiyashi and I are dating. Probably not. The simmered fish tastes good. I soaked it well in kelp broth. Added the perfect amount of mirin. I'll teach you how to make it next time. Good luck. Yes. Caring, what a caring sister. In contrast, Sarah Fujiyashi looks up perhaps because she noticed that I was looking at her. Her eyes meet mine. Ah. As always, she quickly blushes and hangs her head. What an easily embarrassed girl. It's hard to imagine that the personalities can be so different despite being twins. Hmm? What's the matter, Tomoya? Hmm. You've been staring at Ryu. Oh, uh, don't tell me. I'm the third wheel here. Well, that's not really. Y you aren't being bothered at all. Interrupting me, Fujiyashi learns, leans toward forward and says, Not something you don't normally expect from her. Uh, um, well, I think the more people that are eating together, the more fun and delicious it is. Yeah. Uh, really? I've actually been quite kind of worried. Perhaps it would be better if I, just, if I let just the two of you have lunch together. Something like that, um, not really. If you are so certain, if you're so certain, it doesn't make you, it just kind of make me lose face. Well, how should I say this? Oni chan is Oni chan, so well, you're Oni chan. What? Calm down. Uh, <laughs> well, er, your lunchbox are delicious and you're really dependable, so well, um, in any case, it's not a problem. Pat the panic and put Ryashi on the head. 
say it in her stead. Brief moment, Rhea looks at me in shock, but she starts nodding immediately thereafter. Whoa, that just now made you two really feel like a couple. Eh. You patted her head and said what she wanted to, so you and two know exactly what each other are thinking. It's nothing special. That, uh, that was pretty cool. All I did was help Fujibayashi express what she wanted to say when she got stuck. In other words, you knew what you wanted to say, no? Wouldn't you? Well, who knows? Next to me, Ryu was chewing on her chopsticks, her face flushed red. On the other hand, Ryu was grinning. Perhaps she's enjoying the situation. You know she is. Uh, Ryu, I think you should try to be more straightforward and say what's on your mind. Eh? With the conversation suddenly turning to her, her shoulders jolt. I think that'll be better for, uh, be for the better. You can work on being less passive if you put yourself in the right mindsets. I think that's true. You'll feel much better if you have more confidence in yourself. You can say whatever you, uh, what's on your mind. Ah uh, well, but... Look, you're mumbling again. Keep building up stress like that, your stomach will burst one day. What the heck it will, you idiot. Hey, Fujibayashi. Yes? What do you think of me? Eh, 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 uh, well... With her face blushing red, she looks between me and Q. You... Huh? Ah, uh, no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> What's this? You're flaunting how lovey-dovey you are in front of me? No, that wasn't my intent. Well, see, I'm a delinquent, right? Eh, um, is that really so? At the very least, I'm what people would, would call a problem child, so... What do you think of me? Um, well... I, I don't really think you're a bad person, I think. Be more assertive about it. Ah, uh, uh, but... Q, show her how it's done. Whoa, who's this sketchy looking punk? Looks like he's running down the wrong path in life as fast as he can. Do you believe that acting all street is going to make him popular? Man, let's be frank. That just makes him so lame. Even water fleas fall somewhere in the food chain. So at least they serve a purpose, you know? What? Does that bother you? They, they learn the fo to photosynthesize, so he can at least contribute by creating oxygen. You pick enough, right? <laughs> oh, come on. You're the one who told me to be frank and lay it out. Or did that blunt? It just hurts my feelings. I did try to abide my words. That's how what you came up with? Uh, I don't think you should fight. Flustered, Ryu looks at Q and me. Oh uh, well, you know how you are usually pretty straight to the point when you tell fortunes? The point is, just keep that kind of mentality when you're talking about other things. But fortune telling is fortune telling. Says, un with, says uncertainly with her shoulders drooped. I wonder what we can do to get Fujiyashi to be more confident. Maybe we should try to le leverage her ability to make her point with fortunes. We can mind control her and make her think that everything she says is the result of a fortune. That won't do. Her fortunes are dangerous. Operation, get Ryu aggressive. Yay. Q shouts out an oar with a crab-shaped sausages in her mouth, too. Uh, Ryu and I give the stupid sister a cold stare. The point is, we need to build her confidence, right? Her confidence. Isn't that the hard part? That's okay. I know a way to build her confidence quickly. Says and points at me with the chopstick she's holding. Tell me. That's right. Burn it into her mind that you're her boyfriend and build her confidence that way. Let me know that she's not al Let her know that she's not alone. And that this un uh, undebentable good for nothing is there to look after her. You calling me good for nothing? What? Are you good for something? <laughs> Dude, I think I'm at least better than Sunar. <laughs> so how are we gonna use that? Uh, how are we gonna use that to build her confidence? Oh, uh, er, uh, closes her eyes and faces up to the sky. She thinks. While she does that, Fujibayashi and I look at her. She remains still for a while. Wow, that's there's still too early for you two. That's still too early for you two. Suddenly she babbles some nonsense with her face turned red. With a fierce look in her eyes, she glares at the two of us. You, you two are still students, you know. Well, wait until you're older before doing that kind of thing. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> nothing, nothing at all. Uh, anyway, let's try this. What do you mean, this? You couldn't do it last time, but... With a chopstick, Q picks out an octopus-shaped sausage from the lunchbox and grins. Here, ah. Uh, here's something pop next to me. Fearfully, it turned to look at fine Fujibayashi colored red as always. Ryu, 
<laughs> yeah, yes. She's pretty shaken too. Ryu, go, go. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, uh. Okay, Tomoya, you two open wide, go ah. Uh, if you say that, Ryu's already ready. Yeah, seriously? Stand back to look at the girl next to me. Hijiyashi's still red, her trembling hand is reaching out for the octopus shaped sausage slip. Ah, uh, what? Well, it doesn't seem like she can go get a good grip on it. You don't have to make yourself, you know. As I say that, she grabs onto the sausage tightly with her chopsticks. Next, she looks at me with the watery eyes. Uh, Okazaki kun, er. Uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ryu, you can do it. Say, ah, uh, ah. Uh, please. I take a peek at Q. She finally glares out back at me in response, seemingly to tell me to do what she asked. Ah, uh, in case I opened my mouth. How are the sausages that I anticipated did not arrive? Instead, I see a hand shoveling right in front of my mouth. There, Q, you're almost there. You just had to jam it into the, the hole. Don't call my mouth a hole. Ah, uh, um, Okazaki, your teeth are all straight and pretty. What are you looking at? Fujiyashi stares at me, her face still flushed red, depending on who you ask, she might even be crying. Her hand is not moving a bit. Until it feels a little stupid to have a mouth wide open for this long, my jaw is starting to feel tired. I begin to shut my eye my mouth, I hear a click as my teeth hit something. And I bit something hard. In time I can feel something cold and slightly salty in my mouth. Ah. Seems she manages to take the sausage in my mouth. <laughs> then pulls the chopstick out and the flesh still leaving only the sausage in my mouth. Chew out the sauce. Chew out the sauce. See, you did it, Ryu. Having witnessed the whole affair, accused the lady as if it was her who accomplished the feat. Ah, ah, what, wha. All right, you can say something too. Eh, yeah, um, been on the chopsticks that fine. Wrong. Say something delicious, or I'm so fortunate. Well, fortune's a little overboard. Anyway, say something. Uh, that was delicious. What? Hearing me say that, Fujibayashi explodes with embarrassment and looks down at the lunchbox. And then grabs one of the octopus she tosses herself with her chops and puts it in her mouth. Oh. Q suddenly points at Ryu and gasps. Ryu gives her sister some final look in response. What's wrong? An indirect. Huh? Tomorrow, those chops is one in your mouth, right? Q is pointing at the thing that Fujibayashi lifts her holding on to. It's the thing I was biting onto just a few seconds ago. <laughs> An indirect kiss. Dude, you're gonna make her die. She's gonna have a heart attack. Upon that, Ryu face, Ryu's face burns bright red. Her body twitches and trembles so much that it felt like her hair all stood up for an instant. Ah, well, I, I, just now, I, just now, Hokusai can, oh, uh, this has happened once before. Calm down, Ryu. That's right. That was just an indirect one. It's not a real one. Uh, but, but I ha I what have I done? The suspected Fujiyashi stands up as her eyes begin to water. Uh, I'm sorry. Quickly speeds off with the chopstick still in her hand. Before he could react, she had disappeared from our view. Ah, uh, I knew this would happen. It actually, runs pretty fast. Unexpected, no. Hey, hurry up and run after her. That's not going to help now, will it? She'll just be embarrassed and run away even faster. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess. On the side, the problem we now have is what we're going to do with the rest of the food. I say as I look at the lunch boxes, they're still more than ha half full. Tamoya? Hmm? You can do it. Hey, you can help too. And so our fight begins. We wield our chops with their might. The lunch box doesn't empty as fast as we would have liked. And our stomach steadily crew. At this rate, we might not finish all of it before time runs out. Oh yeah, hey Tamoya. Hmm? Look up the uh look up the asparagus bacon wrap still in my mouth. So what's it like going out with Ryu? Swallow the object in my mouth, look out with Q with my head lurched over. What do you mean? Are you enjoying it? I'm having a bit of a problem with coming up with a response. Am I enjoying being together with Ryu? It's true that Ryu's been with me for the past week. Uh, however, even so, there hasn't really been anything special. It's not like we've made any progress. However, just by having her there, I've come to learn quite a bit about her. These are things that I probably would not have learned if we stayed at just, as just classmates. At the very least, I think there's, that there are things that I discovered because Ryu found the courage to reach out to me. Do you find it boring? I just stay in silence. 
you ask uneasily. And I think if I had to say it one way or another, I'm I'm enjoying it. If I didn't start going out there, we wouldn't have moments like this. She's really shy, but I really enjoy watching her try her best to stay be stay by my side. She gets stubborn once before she's telling you about it, and she gets embarrassed over the tiniest trifles. She's actually bad at cooking, and she's much faster than she looks. I probably would have never learned any of that, any of this if we just stayed as friends. It's just as you said. These are things that you can only learn because we're going out. At the very least, I think the past week has been very meaningful. Key listens to me in silence. She then looks at the lunchbox and starts thinking. I have no idea what's going on in her mind. But when she raises her head, she returned to her old self. Ah, oh, man, it's like you're bragging. Uh, she laughs and scratches her head. I'm not trying to brag. That was definitely bragging. I think you ought to have told Ryu all that instead of me, though. Oh, but if you did that to her, she, her face might just catch on fire. You probably w won't even have the time to run away because before she actually bursts. I know, right? Two of us laugh. And then the first ball rings. <laughs> Crap, we aren't done eating yet. Ah, what? Alright, I eat. Don't be absurd. But in the end, we can finish the lunchbox. When the second bell starts to ring, you and I are running down the hallway. Yeah, tomorrow, you know that we that long weekend we have starting tomorrow? Hmm. Go on a date with Ryu, okay? The three of us again? Nope, I'll pass this time. Go on a date as a couple, just the two of you. I won't be spying on you two either. This makes you sound all the more suspicious. Oh, come on, trust me. I'm not going to keep up the uh, keep up the distasteful nonsense the whole time. He says with a carefree smile. Hey, you heard about the thing in the guy's bathroom? Oh yeah, this is a football allocation thing. For some reason, the rugby club has a, had a stake out there today. They're pretty keen on dragging out the guy that was hiding inside, too. Huh? Why is that? I hope Tsunahara survived that <laughs> survived and that we got to meet again. We get to meet again. Dude, he's dead. The bell rings, ending the homeroom. My bag in hand, I stand up from my seat and head to the Fujiyashi seat. Ryu. Eh? Ah, wah. Ryu who had packed her textbook and pencil case in her bag, twitched as she looked up. Immediately her face had blushed bright red. Probably still thinking about what happened during lunch. Eh? Ah, uh, um, well, what is it? Wanna go home together? Eh. Looks at me seemingly not have to not have understood what I just asked her. Like I said, wanna go home together? Be my words. Looks like she managed to process the meaning of the words this time and the color of her face changes in an instant. Um, is is it really okay? What do you mean? Is it okay for us to go home together? Were you indecisive and timid as always asked me with her eyes upturned in response I tell her of course it is after all uh we're going out I answered nonchalantly ah as soon as she heard my answer her eyes relaxed although her face is still red there is now a hint of cheerfulness behind her bashful facade uh I'll wait if I'll wait for you at the school gate ah yes I'll be right there Ryu says as she bows lightly. Lift my hand up and leave the classroom. Ah, Tomoya. Hmm? Oh, Q. Are you heading home already? Yeah. Where's Ryu? Still in the classroom? Are you leaving her behind? Nope. I'm waiting for her at the gate. Oh, is that so? Guess you're doing a job. your job as her boyfriend. You want to come along? Ah, I'll pass. It just makes me feel bad to get in the way of a, your alone time. He said it was laughing, exaggerating the process. That side, be sure to remember what I told you during lunch. And the thing about going on a date with her? Yep, since you two are going out home together, it's gonna be easy to ask her out, right? Well, I guess. In any case, I'll walk with you to the school gate. Yeah. Two of us start walking toward the shoe lockers, quietly and, and shoulder to shoulder. The noise of our shoes tapping on the ground fill the hallway. It only makes me think about the person next to me all the more. Even though we're walking silently, it feels like not only serves to emphasize Q existence. For some reason, the shoe lockers feel like they're growing farther and farther away. My face still pointed forward, I glance to my side. Q keeps on walking with a normal, emotionless look. Hmm? Having noticed my glance, Q turns to face me. What is it? 
Nope, nothing. He stole a glass of me. What for? It's nothing. Something's bothering you, right? If you have something to say, just say it. I'm telling you, it's nothing. I was just looking at you because it was so quiet. Oh, what? And here I thought you were looking at me because I am so cute. Ha <laughs> ha. Come again. Nothing, I just chuckled for no reason. It wasn't until two seconds later that I received the blow that flashed blind me. That hurt. Leaning against the gate wall, I rubbed my back with my head, the back of my head. Cheerful for saying something so rude. I think that's a proper reaction to someone who calls herself cute. Even if you think it, no need to express it. Fine. Next time, I'll just think it. Don't even think it. She's so selfish. Jeez. Well, I'm heading home now. Are you sure you don't want to go home with us? Did I tell you? Doing so would be tasteless. I see. Tell the truth, I think it'd be easier for me if this girl's is, uh, if, if this girl is there with us when our conversation grinds to a halt. Well, take care. You too. Be sure to walk Ryu all the way home, okay? And don't you dare pull anything funny just because I'm not there. I'll greet you through, I'll greet the, through your skin and bones with a greater. How come you can say such, say scary, scary stuff without getting a second, without a second thought? That's my personality. He says and laughs it off. Well, all right, bye bye. Waves in at me and walks away. Looking at her back, I sigh. Not long after, Ryu comes out of the school building. For some reason, he plods toward me slowly with her shoulders drooped. I'm sure she would come running, saying, oh, "I'm sorry for making you wait" or something like that. Yo, I'm um, sorry for. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> no, it's nothing. I'm fine. Says and lets out a sigh. You're not very convincing when you say it like that. I'm sorry. Anyway, let's go. Okay. What are what are what are up with what's what's going on with these two? We walk in silence. In a way I saw this coming. What I didn't see coming what is Ryu's attitude. Doesn't really look like she's down because she's embarrassed. Still depressed. Ryu keeps flying on the next to me. Slow down to match her pace. Hey, Ryu. Eh, ah, yes. Looks up when I call her. Eyes are hiding in hint of sorrow. Why are you so gloomy? Did something happen after I left the classroom? It's nothing important. Her eyes are fixed to the ground again. Her walking speed decreases a little as well. I won't force you to tell me, but if you don't mind, could you please tell me? I mean, don't you think it makes me look kind of lame if I just let you stay depressed? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not really, re I'm not really reprimanding you, so you don't have to apologize. Talk to me. We can discuss it together. You'll feel better if you do, if you don't keep it together. To keep it to yourself. Ryu kindly nods in response. She grabs onto her bag even tighter, turning her hand pale. Well, if it's hard to say, then I guess it can't be helped. No, it's not. Something hard to say, but, but. Ryu closes her, her mouth. Her hand reaches for her lips as she con contemplates something. After a short while, she looks at me. After you left the classroom, Okazai Kunai, well, did it. Did what? Fortune telling. About what? Did something good? Uh, would you come? <laughs> Did something good would come with us going home together? Ha. Huh. Hearing something so anticlimactic, I ended up letting out a pretty boneheaded response myself. Um, I know it's strange of me to try and tell a fortune like that, but, well, this is the first time that you asked me directly like that, so I felt nervous and uneasy. And so, I'm sorry that I don't have any confidence, even though Oni-chan said all that during lunch, I, on the verge of tears, Ryu frantically apologizes. I guess so. That's just how she is. Because of her pessimistic personality, she doesn't have any self-confidence. That's why she wants to depend on something. And so she chose to tell you a for tell fortune, but I'm right here next to you. Eh. I know it might be hard since we haven't started going out there that long, but you can rely on me all you want. I'm more than your friend. I have no problem with you relying on me, but I don't want to. I, 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 <laughs> but I don't want to inconvenience you. The very least, you accepted me, right? Ah, yes, that's right. I, I like you. She says, and her face flushes. At the same time, her hand moves to block her mouth as if she's trying to conceal what she blurted out. Seeing her do that, I can't help but laugh. Oh, well, uh, I just now, um... Isn't that fine? Huh? 
Be confident in yourself. At the very least, be confident in your feelings. You're quite important, don't you think? Yes. Right now, just like this, I'm standing right here next to you. And that's because I acknowledged you. Just as you accepted me. Uh, yep. So have confidence in yourself. You don't need to be worried about me all the more. So, since we're going out, uh, I can all do as I can. So, hey, are you? Uh, sob, sob. Huh? Hey. Panic as Ryu suddenly starts to cry. Instead of trying to wipe her tears, she's just letting her shoulders and throat tremble. Thank you very much. When, when you say it like that, I, I'm so happy. It feels like my chest is about to burst. It's weird, isn't it, that I'm crying at a time like this? I'm oh, sorry, but my tears won't stop. Sniff. Fujibayashi apologizes as she cries. Seeing her like this, I smile and I sigh. Stop crying, okay? It looks like I'm the one who made you cry, no? I say that and take a handkerchief out of my pocket to wipe away her tears. Huh, what? Oh, Kazaki-kun. I can't just let you keep crying now, can I? Y yes. I, I can't keep crying. Fujibayashi sniffs slightly as she says that. Then she smiles. The two of us keep looking at each other. I wonder what this feeling is. Tons of comfort and peace. I can feel deep in my heart. Does it feel so satisfying that satisfying to be needed by someone? Fair least, I think I want to let this feeling, this atmosphere continue. Perhaps this moment, this very instant, we really became lovers. Hey. Yes? Rubs her head and red eyes bashfully smiles at me. You have a long weekend, no? Want to go somewhere together? Eh, uh, on a date. Yeah, just the two of us this time. Hey, yes, let's go. Well, it's good for you. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, whichever's fine. Uh, in that case, well, let's go with Monday. Do you have something to do with it over the weekend? Sorry, I have somewhere career-related to go. Yes, well, it's school orientation. Is it a university or some trade school? That's uh, nursing school. You want to be a nurse? Yes. I see, you've decided on a career path. Okay, you know, what are your future plans? Me, I... What will I do? Uh, well, I'll think about it. I see. Anyway. Maybe on Monday, right? Yes. Nods happily. We then start walking again. Our shoulders side by side are closer than ever. By the way... Were you so gloomy because you got bad results with the fortune? The results are tra tragic, so thinking about what I would do turned out to be true. Uh, I see. But were they true? Were they true? Uh oh. By the time I wake up, it's already past noon. Look at the clock and stretch. After I hear a small cracking sound from my elbow joint, I feel a little better. As expected on a holiday, the road is packed with people. Since I didn't really have anything in particular to do at home, I went out. Not that I actually have anything to do outside either. I thought I would go hang around in the bookstore, but I couldn't find anything that I wanted. So I would rather just not have. Had, I would rather not just head home like this and bump into my old man. So I'll go to Sunari's place. I say as I stop walking and turn in the other direction. Tap, tap, tap. Hmm. Something just slipped past my feet. Kind of felt like a. A little too round to be a cat or a dog. Pui pui. Botan. There, found a piglet. It's a baby boy with a signature vertically striped pattern on his back. Which means... Ah, Tomoya. I knew it. Drew my shoulders and sigh. What's with that look? You're trying to say you're disappointed since I'm not Ryu? I didn't mean it like that. I just said I don't exactly like the idea of having my name yelled out so loud outside. Ah, don't worry about it. So, what are you doing here? Well, it's exactly as it appears. I'm taking a walk. Bhutan's getting, gotten better, so I'm taking him outside for the first time in a while. Pooty pooty. I see. Reuse lunch, huh? Ah, <laughs> yeah. Bhutan notices a huge clumsy smile. Pooty. Well, it's great to that he's gotten better. Well, yeah. Just don't run him ragged. I say as I just raise my hand to gesture goodbye and turn away for Q. Hmm? You're free today, right? Hmm, I guess. Come with me for a bit. What for? I am about to ask as something nestles up against my shin. 
Otan wants to be with you too. And that means I narrow my eyes and look at Q. A walk, let's go on a walk together. I narrow my eyes even further and just as I am about to walk away, right in front of my legs, grab. Something warm is coiling around my ankle. I down find Podon clinging to my leg with his front paws. Tiny legs are trying their damnedest. It'd be simple to shake him off, but Fuhi, his round eyes and bogus sense of guilt. Guess that's that. Having noticed my expression, Q smiles in satisfaction. Fuhi, Fuhi. Podon happily dashes ahead of us. As his short tail wiggles around, he would occasionally stop and run in tight circles and oink. Votan's really happy. I can tell. Don't you think it's kind of soothing to watch him acting like that? Feels like he hasn't a care in the world. Well, you don't want to see him walking around depressed, no. That's true. That reminds me. Votan doesn't like Ryu, right? Eh, yeah, uh, yeah, I guess. Did something happen? Uh, well, I think I have a hunch. What did she do? There was this one time when she wanted to take Botan into the bath. The bath? Isn't that nice? Well, except it seems the water was too hot. Did he mistake it for being cooked? I guess it's something like that. He says chuckling uncomfortably. Oh yeah, it seems you managed to ask Rio on a date. Oh yeah, really happy, you know. At home, she was hugging her pillow and jumping up and down. I can hardly imagine her acting like that. That means, that just means there's still a lot of things you don't know about her. Only gone out, rather, we've only managed to speak with each other for a week. Doesn't every day you spend with her feel fresh? Didn't I didn't tell you yesterday? It feels me really meaningful. Hearing me say that, Q closes her eyes and chuckles. <laughs> you're bragging again. Not really, I'm not really trying to. Yeah, yeah. We'll just leave it at that. Q shrugs her shoulders and shakes her head side to side. Yeah, she's aiming to be a nurse, right? Yep, she went to school orientation today. You need to decide on your future, too. My future, huh? By the way, as for what I was dreaming of doing in the future, I'll burst out laughing and tell me you want to be a wonderful wife. You moron. I'll be a kindergarten teacher. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Tomoya, where's your I'm sorry? Hmm? Uh, I'm sorry. I won't do. I won't forgive you. Photon, one of your seven skills, rugby ball. We The snap of her finger Botan's short legs shrink. Then she throws them at my face as hard as she can. What the fuck? Well, I should put this. I think this critter's seven skills are almost like animal cruelty. What are you talking about? Botan does it willingly. It doesn't count as animal cruelty. Is that so? By the way, what other skills does he have? Other skills? He has a massage function and can act as a pillow, I guess. Massage. Moton. Oui. Moton, Moton, massage. Oui. Is it really gonna be okay shaking like that? Of course, we'll be fine. You'll be fine. The behavior would be very. would be quite unnerving if you hadn't told me it's a skill. It feels really good if you put him on your shoulders. Ha. <laughs> okay, Moton, that's good. Oui. Let's go with a pillow. Woo hee. Okay. Ooh. Isn't this the same as a plushy one? Of course not. Try touching his belly. His belly? My hand reaches for his stomach as instructed. Rip. What's this? It's soft to the touch, like memory foam. Feels like memory foam, right? Do you sleep on this guy? Sometimes. This can't be anything but animal cruelty. <laughs> definitely is. It definitely is. Definitely, uh, I, think, I think so too. Oh yeah. Hmm? What is it now? Look over there. That store over there. Clothes store. What about it? Don't you think the stuff that mannequin is wearing is cute? You point out the female mannequin. The mannequin is wearing white. Short cam camisole that has two shoulder straps on both sides. Uh, it's so short that like, you can see the mannequin's navel. Don't you think it's a little too exposed? What a moron. That much is, that much is what makes it cute. Guys will immediately fall madly in love with you if you're cute and sexy. Madly in love, eh? Just imagine, how would Ryu look in that? Ryu wearing that. She may not look it, but she's actually pretty busty. Is that so? 
There's quite a bit of cleavage too. Cle cleavage. Though she looks so innocent and well behaved. Ow, oh, don't pull my ear. What's with that lewd look on your face? I didn't really- ow. Oh. Yes, you did. If you dare do anything weird during next time, I'm pouring a Warwickshire sauce into your eyes. It's not ru it's not the runny kind too, it's the thick stuff. While I'm at it, I'll throw in mayo, dried bonito, and green seaweed as extras. Wee <laughs> Before I knew it, Wotan had been staring at me. I hope it's just me, but I see something like drool around his mouth. By the way, Q, what kind of food does Wotan eat? Like, Okonomiyaki. That, this critter. 